Hey, everybody. Hey. Frank and Carrie. Welcome back. Your favorite DIY couple. <laughs> <laughs> it, we're uh, in the attic today. Uh, there might be a few less posts up here now, and it, the roof might be in a little better shape. But that's not what we're here about today, mm. are we? No, that is a future video. <laughs> we're, uh, we found an old abandoned mansion. That's what we're in right now. Yes, Miss it was Moreland. in yeah. really bad shape. And we're fixing it up all by ourselves. That's where the DIY comes from. <laughs> Do it yourselves. <laughs> but uh, she's, she's in much better condition. Um, uh, and she's looking a lot better than when we got her. That's for sure. And she's starting to stay drier. Yes. That's, uh, is that what the video is about That's what today? our video, but it, last week we did a lot of gutter uh, to keep the water out. We took the cornice molding off. Well, this is a continuation, but this one is on the maid's room on the south side of the house. And we, we fixed some leaks there. And we also removed some of the cornice molding and put up some flashing there. So she is staying dry, but that's what the video is about this week. And some people on last week's video, some people were talking about the, you know, patching the gutter, but the gutter is beyond patching. Yes. So we were just, we're just letting the water run through the gutters because they're just, they're holy gutters. <laughs> you don't want to mess with holy gutters. No, the squirrels love them though. So we're just letting the water run through mm -hmm. and miss the house. And we'll, we'll deal with the foundation issues isn't that big of a deal because it'll, it takes a while for that to develop, but getting the water out of the house, getting it dry. That's our goal right now. That is our goal. So, and we'll continue to, to work on those issues for a while. So, but that's okay. So welcome to the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay. It's time for operation stop the water in the maid's room. We're going to go up there. Take out some limbs on the way up so we can get the telehandler up there. And we are going to fix that area. And we're going to fix this area. We're going to take the crown molding off, or the cornice molding. We're going to take the cornice molding off and uh, it's going to stop water from coming in there. We're drying the Moreland house out, kids. This is what we're up against. This is the maid's room. This wall right here. This is the temporary wall we put up since there was nothing there. <coughs> and we tried to figure out how to make it weatherproof, but this box gutter has tons of holes in it all along here. And it just pours in. So we're just going to take the cornice molding off. Take the cornice molding off at least to there and figure out what to do. And now, this part of the maid's room won't get water pouring in anymore. So, we've just solved a, one of the bigger leaks. Now, all this water that pours down through the box gutter will just keep on going and won't pour it into the wall. This cornice molding, acting like a funnel, it was something else. But now we gotta move over, take all that down, and then that's another huge leak there. 
So we gotta take that cornice molding off. Probably only back to there, hoping. Who knows? Who knows what it looks like inside there? Well, we're gonna leave this cornice molding on, I suppose. Because I can get back there and put the underlayment where it'll go over all that stuff and this is where that beam was supposed to be the end of it is not there anymore that's what was supposed to be holding this wall up but it wasn't so now put in some of this synthetic felt and then the maid's room will be dry-ish. And just like that, this whole maid's room is weather-ish proofed. So, no matter how much this box gutter leaks through all these holes, it'll drop down and not in. Alrighty, we've been up on this spot a few times. We've repaired those shingles, or slate shingles right there. We've put flashing in that corner. Like that. And now, we're just gonna go ahead and remove this cornice molding. Because it's funneling water. I think We can tell where the water's going, but that's going right in the maid's room. Coming down that wall. It's bad enough it goes all the way into the breakfast room. So we're going to take some stuff off of here and see what we can do. And as we continue the saga of this uh, above the maid's room box cutter cornice molding stuff, I put some, uh, this is composite decking. I hammered it in there really good. That's gonna be the nailer for that. But right now, I am going to tackle this. I'm gonna replace from that slate anything with tar on it and then I'm gonna roof up under there and we'll see what we can do.
it's as much slate as I think I have to take off. Now I gotta put some nailers in in that attic and cut out all the bad decking. We got salvage decking that we're gonna use. And put it back together so it doesn't leak. Got the nailers up. And cut out all the bad wood. And it's not going to rain. And nobody can get in and out here except for the raccoons and squirrels. So this is where it's going to be left till we get back to it in the morning. And put all that stuff back where it goes. Fun times. Yesterday I had um, a ladies day to go to and it was very encouraging and so I was very thankful I got to go. But that left Frank over here on the roof by himself. So in no way to get Bertha up and down. So he left Bertha up in place and he went up the ladders. But he was able to get the slate fixed in that area. Now he's working on doing that gutter bypass that we've done in several different areas just to keep the water out. And I think that's gonna make a huge difference because not only will it work in the maid's room, which is this room right there, but this is the breakfast room and that wall that goes this way, I know it's hard to see, um, but that will keep that interior dining room, breakfast room shared wall, hopefully that will dry it out. So that would be really great. So we're slowly, ever so slowly, getting her all dried in. Well, here we are up here where Frank did all that repair. He did the rafters that came down. He sistered those. He put in new decking. We repurposed some of the lumber and then he got all the new slate on there. He tucked it in further there to help protect it uh, to prevent leaks. And it looks pretty good. Hi. I was showing them all your handiwork while I was gone yesterday. I replaced, she might already told you that, but. Cut all the step flashing in underneath this slate. This was all no slate. This was all covered by the cornice molding. And then I'm covering up, put some flashing between the, to, to go over this bottom cornice molding. So whatever water gets in there, if it does, which there might be some coming in the gutter cause it's whatever, but if it does, Drip down through the gutter. There's holes in it, I'm sure. It goes past all that stuff. And then we'll clean out this box gutter. But all, I think there's 26 new slates on here. Starting from about there, going up here. That one's, I think that one's a newer one. Going up this way. 
up to there. So, all that's new slate, and it won't uh, it won't leak anymore. That other area of the maid's room is gonna stay dry. I went ahead and this one was bad. I replaced it, but now we're gonna put this last piece of flashing on here to keep water coming off there. Clean out some box gutters. Carrie's gonna do that with the blower. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one more dry area. Hi. Carrie's doing her thing, sweeping. Did you ever think you'd be cleaning out gutters, Carrie Lou? Yeah. 40 feet off the ground? No. Well, welcome to the Moreland house. <laughs> There's a lot of things I didn't think I was gonna be doing. Oh, we got a little bit of work to do still. Just a little. But, man, we're feeling good. Yeah. We are feeling good about this. We're, it feels like we're finally getting ahead. Well, catching up, I guess. Well, we're going to have a dry house for the winter, I think. As soon as Carrie sweeps this a little bit, she's going to use a leaf blower and try to clean out a little bit more of it. There goes Carrie with the leaf floor. Okay. It's okay to, you can clean that if you want. You can, it can go backwards. Did you get all the corner around there? What about that part right there? Now she's cleaning out. <laughs> I know, sorry. Where's Carrie? There she is, cleaning the roof off. Uh, evidently I made a mess working on that stuff way up there. And uh, Carrie beat me to it. I was gonna clean all that up, but she jumped up there. Well, she came up in Bertha. I did. She doesn't like climbing ladders that much. So, but that's the way I was getting up. She had a ladies day the other day, so uh, I put Bertha up and then I climbed these two ladders to get up onto Bertha's platform so I could work up in that area. But Carrie's helping me clean up the rest of it. She showed up eventually. What we're looking at here is the only roof on the Moreland house that has never leaked. <laughs> yeah. I might be jinxing us, but uh, this is still, underneath here is the original turn metal roofing. It's had some coating put over it, but it's never leaked. Nope. I'm sure it will now that we've mentioned it, but. <laughs> yeah. But this is. All that debris carries being nice and picking it up. <laughs> we figured it'd be easier to pick it up here than sweep it off and try to get it from the all the vegetation down at the bottom here. This is much easier. So we'll uh, finish this up, put the debris boxes on. We're using these old tubs that leak yeah. and just putting the debris in them and putting them in the trash can. We're slowly getting rid of these, but since we have a hundred to get rid of, it'll, take us a while. it'll be a while. Mm -hmm. 
There it is, all nice and clean. Gives you an idea of what it originally looked like. <laughs> so, we're making some progress. Feels good. Supervisor's on the job, making sure we get it done, huh, kitten? Are you making sure we get it all done? Huh? Come here, just a good girl. <laughs> Sweet kitten. Yeah. Sweet kitten. Well, there it is. Winterized, and we're excited that that wall is going to stay dry. That corner is going to stay dry. Miss Moreland is going to be happy. Mimi, what are you doing? Huh? Are you wanting to play? Oh, here comes your sister. Here comes your sister. Hi, Mia.